much of it at the beginning, just creating Excel docs and downloading guides and researching because I've never done anything like this. I created this really cool hat rack out of bungee cord. And then I probably put about 35 to 40 grand into it for the build. And I love the fabric. It's probably my statement of the van. Hi, I'm Ryan, come take a tour. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, tons of cooking space in here. I could pop this up, create even more space. I have a large fridge right here with the freezer. Freezer is big enough to hold ice, a couple uh, pints of ice cream. Um, I have an induction cooktop with a single burner. And then for the sink, we have a water filtration system in here so I could fill up my bottles and just drink right out of here as well. Kitchen wise, uh, there is four pull out drawers where I keep pretty much all my necessities for cooking, cleaning, everything like that. Uh, huge storage under the sink with the water filter system as well. I guess the only thing I would do a little bit different is probably put a two burner induction cooktop in here. Um, but other than that, uh, I love it. Uh, so water on board, I have a 40 gallon tank in the back for fresh water. Um, I have a five gallon uh, gray tank under the sink and then I have a 11 gallon tank under the shower that's mounted under the van uh, for gray water as well. Um, the tanks are all heated with uh, a heat system with heat pads and sticky tape. So I could use them uh, four seasons. Kitchen wise, so uh, wanted to get a little decorative in here. I put a big shelf up here with some plants. Um, back here I have some succulents with these really cool uh, vases that I found on Etsy. For the living space, uh, I have a double bench right here. The sw seats swivel around. Um, tons of storage in here. Usually if I have a guest to stay, they can put all of their clothes and everything in there. Um, up here, I have uh, pretty much all my electronics and hookups for everything like that and the WeBoost antenna will go back in there as well. Oh, the fabric was, uh, I found on a website called Spoonflower. Um, I have another buddy that built something similar with the fabric, so I reached out and I love the fabric. It's probably my statement of the van, but uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, for this space, this is kind of where I work. Throw the laptop up right here. Uh, I can also seat four people in here or three comfortably and we play games if it's raining outside or anything like that. Uh, this also converts into sort of like a movie night. There's a couple hooks up there and I can put a projector right here and you have a little movie screening uh, sort of place right here too. If it's raining outside and you can't be outside. I got started in van life uh, probably a couple years before COVID. Um, I was heavy into backpacking and camping and everything like that. Uh, and I wanted to create something that I could just do that as much as possible and have all of my amenities and everything that I needed with me at all times. Um, so over COVID, ha I guess COVID started uh, and it was very tough to find a van. So I spent about a year, I found this van as a cargo van. Uh, and then it took me about 13 months to build it out. And since then, I've just been loving it ever since. Um, so during the build, I probably spent uh, much of it at the beginning, just creating Excel docs and downloading guides and researching, because I've never done anything like this. Uh, so it was a huge task and I am sort of a perfectionist with everything that I try to do. So, um, just kind of figuring out the exact style of build that I want. And when you're building it for yourself, like you have, uh, you know, the compartments for everything that you own or everything that you need to have for van life in general. So that was really cool to kind of plan that out from the beginning. Uh, so shower and bathroom, I used a nature's head composting toilet. Um, the shower and the sink have hot water, so you can enjoy a, a really good hot water shower. Um, and then I found this bag for all my shampoos and soaps and everything like that. Um, I custom created a teak mat uh, in the shower board, which I love. Fits with the van kind of color scheme. Uh, behind the shower, I have a closet space. I could you know, hang up 30 shirts if I wanted to and all sorts of pants, shoes, everything else is right down here. So in the shower, 
Uh, I built it with wood and then I painted it with like a red guard water sealant. Um, and then the board that's in here is actually this FRP board that makes it completely waterproof. And then I siliconed all of the sides uh, with the tray at the bottom. Uh, for the door, there's the Nautilus shower retractable door. Um, and I love this, doesn't take up any space, super easy to use. Uh, one more cool feature about the shower is I found this kind of clothesline and I'm able to, you know, go hiking and get, you know, soaked or muddy or whatever. And I can just hang everything in here and I can close the door. I don't even need to worry about any uh, water retracting all over the van. Bed wise, it's an RV queen. And when I was creating the bed, I was able to do some cutouts on each side that add about four inches of space on each side. So eight inches total. Have some controls for the lights and the fans back here as well, so I don't need to get out of bed. Uh, I created this really cool hat rack out of bungee cord. Um, and then I have some storage for books and uh, anything that I would need back here as well. Uh, storage wise up top, I have four large storage drawers. Uh, I didn't do it on that side just because I wanted some room for my head to jump up and down. But uh, a couple of these are used as pantry and plates and silverware, everything like that. Uh, and then back here, it's just additional storage for clothes, uh, blankets, uh, and then a projector for movies and stuff. Uh, so the ceiling, I did a tongue and groove uh, and I did like an off-white color. I put uh, like kind of puck lights down the whole hallway. Uh, and then I have two Max Air fans as well. And I did the black trim with pretty much everything. Uh, I like that as the color scheme. So I bought the van as a shell for $40,000. Um, and then I probably put about 35 to 40 grand into it for the build. Uh, so it's around 80,000 total. Um, for work, I am a freelance graphic designer and digital marketer. Um, and then I also have a hard kombucha company that I started with a few friends called Bad Booch. The most expensive part was probably the electronic system. I wanted something that if it is raining uh, or cloudy or snowy that I can live off grid without worrying about my batteries um, for like up to four, five, six days. Uh, so I'd probably say the batteries were the most expensive part and everything with the electro electric system uh, in general is definitely the most expensive. So garage-wise, probably my favorite part of the build. Uh, this is where I keep all my toys and the electrical system and the water system in here. Uh, we'll start on this side with the water system. There's an attachable quick connect hose out here so I could shower, wash off any bikes or anything like that. Um, I covered this with the same thing that the floor is covered with, which is like this marine vinyl uh, that you see oftentimes in the bottom of like pontoons or boats. Super durable, waterproof, everything like that, which I love. Um, right here, I have a large slide out tray. Um, and this has the outdoor cooking gear, some backpacking gear. I have a hammock uh, or a kayak and a paddleboard in there as well. Um, and then my hoses and electrical wire if I need to hook up to any sort of um, system. Over here I have a bike, uh, just a standard gravel bike. Um, and then on this side, there's plenty of more storage up top for any additional gear. Uh, and that's all above the electrical system, which is hidden right in there. Uh, for the electrical, I have four uh, 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Um, there's a 3000 watt inverter, and then I'm able to kind of get uh, all of my energy from solar. Um, but I do have an alternator charger and I can plug into any sort of RV park or house if needed as well. A couple other cool things on the back. Uh, this is a ski holder right here. So I'm able to put some skis up and tie them down. And then I have plenty of storage with these hooks so I could throw all my backpacks, any wet gear up there as well. If you are interested in getting into, you know, building out your own van or bus or pretty much anything out there, uh, I think just don't give up. Like at the beginning and, and especially with the electronic system and the plumbing systems and everything, there was many points where I wanted to give up and I, I never thought I was gonna be complete with the van. Uh, and there's still, you know, times that I always add new things on, but uh, when it's fully done, like, 
the enjoyment and excitement you get when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can you know hit a hot shower after a day of hiking or kayaking or anything and uh, your friends are out there and you have a fridge and you know it's just it's amazing so uh, I wouldn't kind of put anything past that it's just uh, and fall in love with the build process which is what I did as well and uh, there's definitely times where I wish I was still building it now that I look back on it uh, the favorite part of my build is probably the garage space uh, I was you know super into camping and backpacking for a while and you always have to pack up the car and everything you can't see out of any windows because of all the gear that you're bringing with you so it's really nice to have a huge garage uh, where everything's kind of out of sight, out of mind at the end of the day, and you have a clean living space to kind of uh, enjoy everything else in. Thanks for doing the van tour today. Um, I'm based out of the southwest of the U.S., so if you want to tag along and follow me on to my adventures or meet up and do any sort of adventures, uh, my Instagram is Ryan Seeing Stuff, uh, and yeah, follow along. Peace.